Alright everyone, so I'm here at Boba Loke right now. I'm gonna upload I think vlog number 103 or 104. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm here to give you an update on the situation as I know it at this point. Now the number of injuries, I do not know yet. Um, but we are looking in an excess of 50 uh, individuals dead and over 200 individuals injured. At least 50 people were killed there. The last couple of hours that the number of people killed has gone up to more than 50 after a man in a Mandalay Bay hotel room started shooting at people at an outdoor country music festival. the rapid fire of those bullets in this video posted on Twitter. It took people a few seconds to figure out what that was. About 10 seconds later, the music stops, and then you start to see the people right there running for cover. The sheriff says at least 50 people were killed, and now we know the number of injured is 400 people taken to local hospitals. They say he opened fire from here the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel. And you can see what kind of vantage point that would give him because the concert was happening right over here across the street. I'm sure some of you guys have already seen some of the clips. Um, as some of you also know, um, I'm also, I'm from Las Vegas. I grew, went to high school in Las Vegas. I didn't graduate from there, but I lived there for a majority of my high school life, uh, even college life as well. Um, and so it just, it, it, it's it's crazy just seeing like just seeing these things happen in the first place I guess for just from seeing what happened in Las Vegas you really honestly never know how much longer you have you really never know how much longer when you'll take your last breath and and just seeing how this tragic event really occur because of someone's senseless act of maybe rage and I don't know why anyone would ever want to do that and bring 10 guns into the 32nd or 34th floor of the Mandalay Bay and just and just like raining those bullets down to a bunch of children, parents, grandparents, babies, people, good people. It makes no sense to me at all. And so my heart really goes out to all those families and the victims who were massacred um, last night at that event. It's heartbreaking and to be honest, it, really, it brings me back to even during 9-11 um, when I was a freshman in high school. I went to Palo Verde High School in Las Vegas. When I watched that event during science class, you know, I remember the whole school stopped doing what they're doing and we're all just watching, seeing the second plane hit one of the towers. A couple of days later, we find out that one of our teachers, Miss Barbara Edwards, was actually hit in the plane that hit the Pentagon. And um, seeing this happen, even in Vegas, where my, you know, as you know, that's where my parents are at, that's where my family is at, it just, it just hits home because I, I even have friends who had relatives who were actually at the concert when the shooting took place, which is crazy. One thing I think we have to always remember is that we should always be thankful for our loved ones. Uh, we should always be thankful for them because you never know when they'll go away. You never know when it'll be the last time you see them. Uh, also, with your life in general, you never know when your life will end, right? And so even within your life right now, um, what should your goal be too? What should my goal be also? Um, our goal should be to make sure that when we live our life, we live every day as if it's our last. We live every day according to the purpose that we believe we have in our life, that we live for what we really love doing and that we love our family and we love our parents and we love our relatives, our brothers and sisters because you never know when all this can go away. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have time to vlog today. As you guys know, I, I don't vlog Monday Fridays in general, Friday nights. So this video will be uploaded tomorrow, which is Tuesday night. Like I always say, right? Find what you love and go all out. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow and let's just get over this right now all right what's up YouTube uh, it is now uh, Tuesday I am NOT at work I'm actually at the auto shop because my car broke down the freeway today a red line my car overheated again so I'm back here check it out I'm here you can check it out right there I'm at the car, car shop here. But yeah, so I'm back here at the car shop getting a car fixed, but fortunately my office let me work from the auto shop So I'm right here at work 
working right now using the Wi-Fi. So let me work on some stuff real quick and I'll talk to you guys on my kind of lunch break after I get some things done. So I'll see you guys in a second. It is now 5 p.m. I'm leaving the car shop uh, and I was there all day and they really couldn't fix anything in my car. So what they did um, is that they actually gave a temporary, temporary fix where I can drive my car and it'll last until Friday, uh, which is cool. But that's a thousand dollars if not more and it's gonna be kind of expensive to fix so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to a car shop right not a car shop but I'm going to BMW right now and at BMW I'm gonna go ahead and actually look at some used cars and figured you know might as well just look at a new car if I can I mean I could afford it now um, and something really cool just happened as I was driving and leaving the car shop is that a recruiter actually gave me a call actually he's not even a recruiter well he's not like a recruiting agency but he's a recruiter from an actual tech company that called me um, they don't know my, about my YouTube channel they don't know anything about that personal in my life at, at all what they did is that they just saw my resume on indie.com they just saw my resume and they gave me a call to see if I'm interested in a position and it's pretty funny you know and they actually are seem pretty cool I'm not gonna tell the company never do uh, but they're really cool and it's just cool. it's just nice to see that people are actually contacting me because they want to hire me and it just, you just feel so much more valuable you know and so I talked to them and I told them yeah let's talk a little bit more uh, and so they're gonna send me an email tomorrow um, and we'll see but anyway it's just, it's just cool to see that happen more often and I get so many calls from actual recruiters and I actually treated him like he was a recruiter from a recruiting agency uh, and then when I realized he's from, he's from a real legit company I'm like oh wait I'm so sorry I thought you were a recruiter and he said no and I understand why you thought that way too so kind of cool life a developer getting calls like that it, you don't get calls like that unless you work in the tech field or you're just some big celebrity right and I'm not a celebrity at all but anyway my arm's getting tired I'll see you guys peace down for the long run now red Corvette and my drop top down calling up my digits in my Motorola and I'm speeding like I robbed someone I'm here just getting some food by myself tonight I'm not really meeting with anyone I hang out with anyone I think I think one thing I've been straying away from often or a lot is just my how work is going and how is it going as my job. As of right now, you know, it's cool. I mean, I've made some mistakes here and there, uh, small mistakes, but it's, it's happened three times in a row, which is not good. Where it's like typos or I forgot to test something before I emailed it to a client, and it was my fault. And you know, just making mistakes and learning from that and getting better. Um, and I, I, that's kind of just like. That's kind of just like how it is to be a developer and there's bugs and things come up. But I think more than anything, right, I, and I'm starting to learn this and realize it that much more, is that yes, being a programmer is amazing. Uh, the pay is good, but more than even just the pay, to be honest, is the people that you work with too. And so one thing I highly suggest is that when you do look for a company, of course, as your first job, as a developer, your first time, what's going to happen? You'll accept any job offer and do it because you have to get your foot in the door. That's just generally how it goes. But after you get your foot in the door, more than that, is that you can't just think of that first job as a job, but even work and getting your second job as a developer. There's someone who got hired in his first job as an Angular developer, and within his first job, he got hired at $60,000 a year. About eight months down the line, he got even better at programming. He learned Java and Angular. And then he got an offer for a job paying him $100,000 a year. And I think that, that actually happens quite a bit, quite often, because as you get your first job, you get so much better compared to just school or teaching yourself. Like, I am 100 times better now than as I was first as a developer. But because you were a junior when you joined that company, or because it was your first job, uh, you're the owners. The What happens is that the managers, they don't look highly at you because they don't think highly of you sometimes because you were a junior when you joined. Um, and so you have to think about that too until at the end of the day What I've learned to be honest today is that you do have to think about yourself. I'm not saying I'm leaving my company I'm not thinking about that at all, but there's just certain things that happened today and you know even just what happened even Within Las Vegas, you know, you never know when really it's your last day and I'm realizing it that much more now than ever and and so what I would say is that you know I make a lot of mistakes I'm getting better as a programmer. I can't wait to get even that much more better but what I think what you have to do, and that's something that I have to learn because I'm the kind of person where I think about others so much more than my own self at times that I forget to even care about myself and protect myself too. And so you just have to be selfish at times, to be honest. And I'm gonna make it a goal to kind of, to think of myself, protect myself that much more. And you know, you just have to be selfish at times. So think of your future. Don't think, don't have a, 
tunnel vision, don't have tunnel vision, but really make it a goal to make that next step. Think of your future, think of yourself, think of everything you have to do to accomplish what you want and you desire in your dream. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, get some food right now, get some patchy tofu, and then edit the next video and code a little bit with Ruby and Ruby on Rails. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go ahead, do what I need to do. Peace.